Hey everyone, it's Ken here. If you missed any Tesla news last week, don't worry, I've got you covered. In this one video, we'll break down everything you need to know about Tesla's latest updates, from new models to big moves in energy and autonomy. Stick around because there's a lot happening that could impact both owners and investors. Segment 1 China Model Y L. First up, let's head over to Tesla's Gigafactory in Shanghai. Reports suggest Tesla may have started mass production of the new Model Y L. So, what makes this different? The Y L is a long wheelbase version featuring a three row, six seat layout. The second row comes with captain's chairs, making it easier to get into the back seats. On top of that, it packs an LG made 82 kilowatt hour battery, delivering an incredible 751 kilometers of range under CLTC standards with dual motors balancing practicality and performance. From an owner's perspective, this could be a game changer. It's a more affordable alternative to the Model X while still offering space and flexibility for families. From an investor's perspective, Tesla can leverage its existing production lines without massive new investments, improving profitability while tapping into new markets. And while sales are expected to begin in China, test vehicles have already been spotted in Germany. This hints at a possible European rollout, where SUVs continue to dominate the market. Segment 2 US Market Updates Next, over in the US, Tesla has officially ended its free upgrade incentives for Model Y and Model 3 inventory vehicles. The deadlines were August 11th for the Model Y and August 18th for the Model 3. At the same time, lease prices for the Model Y have jumped by as much as 14% and delivery times have stretched from 1 to 3 weeks to 4 to 6 weeks. The key reason, the $7,500 EV tax credit expires at the end of September, sparking a rush of orders. For investors, this is a clear boost to Q3 delivery numbers, but it also sets up the risk of a dip in Q4 once that demand spike cools off. Segment 3 UK Energy Expansion Now let's talk about energy. In the UK, Tesla has applied for a license with Ofgem that would allow it to sell electricity directly to households and businesses. If approved, Tesla Electric could launch as early as next year. Up until now, Tesla's energy plan in the UK has been run through Octopus Energy but this move signals Tesla's intent to sell power directly under its own brand. For investors, this is an important step. It creates a new revenue stream in regions where car sales are slowing. Segment 4 – Texas Robotaxi Milestone Now, a huge story from Texas. Tesla has officially secured approval to operate robotaxis without a safety driver. Until now, Operations in Austin required a driver behind the wheel, but with the new TNC license, Tesla is cleared for commercial service across the entire state. These permits are valid through 2026, and yes, this means you'll start seeing Teslas driving around with nobody in the front seat. The rollout is expanding fast. Austin's coverage area has grown from just 20 square miles to 80 square miles since June. Pricing has shifted from a flat $4.20 fee to a distance-based model, making it more like a real rideshare service. And starting next month, the service will open to the general public, not just invite-only users. For owners, this creates a whole new mobility option. For investors, the data collected from these rides accelerates FSD development, giving Tesla a massive advantage over rivals. Segment 5 FSD V14 Speaking of autonomy, Elon Musk confirmed that full self-driving version 14 is coming in about 6 weeks. This upgrade 
will reportedly have 10 times more parameters, allowing for far more complex decision making. Driver monitoring will also be less strict, cutting down on those annoying false alerts. And here's the big one. Elon hinted that fully unsupervised FSD, no driver required, could roll out to select regions by the end of the year. This is a critical milestone because it pushes Tesla toward true economies of scale in autonomy. Regulations, service expansion, and software progress are all advancing in parallel. Segment 6, Service Improvements, and Model 3, LR China. On August 13th, Tesla made headlines again, this time with service. One owner who was initially billed $30,000 for a repair on a recall vehicle had their case escalated directly to Elon Musk. Within 24 hours, the car was repaired free of charge. We also saw Tesla begin testing direct communication between owners and local service leaders through the Tesla app. This could massively improve transparency and peace of mind. Meanwhile in China, Tesla launched a long-range RWD Model 3 with up to 830 kilometers of range under CLTC, the longest ever for Tesla in that market. Priced at about $36,000, it's a strong contender in a fiercely competitive EV landscape. Segment 7, Robotaxi in New York and India expansion. By August 14th, Tesla was already moving on to New York. They're preparing for robo-taxi testing in Queens, even hiring operators at $25 to $30 an hour. While formal approval hasn't come through yet, Tesla looks ready to hit the ground running the moment it does. At the same time, Elon confirmed Tesla is working on fully automated charging, cars that can park and plug in by themselves. Pair that with wireless charging, and you get a vision of robo-taxis that never need human touch. And in India, Tesla just opened its second showroom in Delhi and installed V4 superchargers. Expansion into Noida and Bangalore is also on the way, highlighting India as Tesla's next major growth market. Segment 8, Charging Network and FSD UI Upgrade. August 15th brought updates on charging. According to JD Power, Tesla superchargers have been ranked number one in customer satisfaction for the fifth straight year, scoring 709 points. However, satisfaction dipped slightly due to rising costs and increased use by non-Tesla EVs. Still, Tesla's charging reliability is improving, with failed sessions dropping to just 14%, the lowest ever recorded. That's a strong sign for long-term confidence. On the software side, Tesla is preparing to shift its FSD interface from Godot to Unreal Engine, enabling much richer 3D graphics. Early previews already show more realistic vehicle avatars in Model S and X. But heads up, this upgrade may only be available on newer AMD equipped vehicles. So across just five days, Tesla made moves in vehicles, autonomy, energy, and infrastructure all at once. For owners, this means more choices, better service, and smoother driving experiences. For investors, it signals short-term boosts from U.S. tax incentives alongside long-term growth from software, energy, and autonomy. But I want to hear from you. Which of these updates stood out the most? Was it the Model YL in China, the robo-taxi breakthrough in Texas, or maybe the FSDV14 upgrade, drop your thoughts in the comments below. And that's it for today's roundup. If you found this useful, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. I share Tesla updates every single day so you won't miss a thing. Thanks so much for watching and let's keep enjoying the Tesla lifestyle together. By the way, I also share Tesla news and insights on X and Instagram. I'd love to connect with Tesla fans all around the world, so feel free to follow me there. And if you're planning a trip to Japan, don't hesitate to drop your questions in the comments. I'll be happy to help. See you in the next one.